Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. I'm Circle Master and I have to do more stuff with Avalok. And I'm not happy about it. And I'm even more not happy about the fact that the last recording I did screwed up yet again. Everything should be fixed now. But uh, the important thing is that Sheila died and the game treated it as if this was a tragedy and an injustice. And she was not the villain of the previous game, who was the final boss fight. But I remember the previous game, I remember she was the final boss fight, and I felt no remorse, and no sadness at her death. Because why would I? Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You'd think she'd clean herself up at some point. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Yeah, he doesn't seem one for candid discussions. Alright, sailors. I'm here to find Shenmu. I mean, what? I don't even know what that joke was supposed to be. Where am I supposed to go? Yes, thank you, Philippa. Oh, there he is. Jeez, why didn't I see him the first time? Oh yeah, because my brain doesn't work. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. I love it when my brain doesn't work. No, wait. The other thing. Okay, I don't know what that quest was, but, uh, sure. <laughs> yep, that's a bunch of boats. settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes no. to continue the Isles with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We had this conversation, though. We knew where... Um, uh, whatever. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. 
truly. Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Flu? We're not familiar with space elves, no. Please go away and die. You're a bad guy. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. Like, we're working for him. Why would he not just let us on the ship so we could talk to him? Duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. Why can we not just go, hey, I'm Geralt. I'm working with Ciri for the Emperor. I'd like to talk to the Emperor about Ciri. Thank you, and please let me on now. And then he's let on. And then he talks to the Emperor. Like, what is the skullduggery? And the sneaking? And all that required? I don't get it. Good thing I'm cutting all this out. Oh, no, I said that as soon as we got to a cutscene. Now I have to leave that in. And we should have drowned that whelp in deep water the day he was born. Looking for Ermion. Oh, he's in there with him, pale as a beached carp. If he don't bring the brat in line, who will? But no, he says, the gods gave us a king. We must support him. Support what? Svanriga standing there like a mute fencing dummy, gazing on as that hag sells us to the black ones. Berna Bran arranged everything behind our backs. Why, well, she's not even denying it. I neither know nor care what you're talking about, but I'm guessing it has to do with the Emperor being here. Which, again, I'm going to question why can't I just go talk to the Emperor directly myself? Why do I need Ermion's help to sneak aboard or something or whatever? I don't understand. Who is this? No one important? As I was saying, we shall discuss the details later. His Majesty accepts the document in its current form. Never thought I'd live to see the day. We are prepared to seal the treaty. How much would I need to pay you to take off our head here and now? I don't... I don't know if number three is like, I don't know what the tone of number three is meant to be. I don't know what that's meant to convey. So I guess I'll go for one. Same price as for an Arinia. Tempting. The king pledges to fulfill all the conditions by the summer solstice. Before I sign, I wish to hear this from the king's mouth. Svanriga. Now I'm... What? Why am I fighting? I just walked into a place and saw a murder. And I'm on the murderer's side, I guess. I don't know. Ow. Please let me cast Quinn. Please let me block. 
Jeez. We move out at once. You hear what the king said? Move! In Skellige, anyone can be king. All they need is the Jarls on their side. Sometimes a mediocrity gets just that. And the Isles get a ruler the clans don't respect. No one expected much of Svalnirga, of Clan Twersech. But he went down in history as the founder of a dynasty. And as the king who united all the clans against Nilfgaard. Svalnirga. Okay, I guess if you do nothing on Skellige, that's the outcome you got. And who brought you here? Come to make sure no scandal in Skellige passes you by. Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Orberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshi Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? What a great lead. In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Thanks for your help. Uh, one thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago, were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. Alright, so this was a thing that happened, I guess. As far as it is a stupid bard. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I have more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Who cares? I've been waiting for this my whole life. I guess I have to. Together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Yep. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, it have pondered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure What an you idiot. We want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermion's tutelage. Ermion? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you conniver. Cut me to bits if you like, I'll never tell you about the cavern! <sighs> oh. uh, am I cutting you to bits now, then? I guess not. I guess this whole thing was pointless. Yay! Must be the Pearl Diver's boat. And if they're Pearl Divers, I bet they're diving. Maybe not. Okay, I found the entrance to something.
Anybody home? Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Ran out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermion. Mm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Caertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... <laughs> Neither. Hello. It's it's just drowners. This is trivial. Or it would be trivial if they weren't floating over my head. Slant eyes, white hair. No, one of them bit the dust. Alright, so I guess we're continuing this on next time. Because I, I can't think of a segue. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.